It's time to drop the hammer! Thomas Besserol's going to work the outside, and he get around Emerson Axum. No, not there. Got a good drive down into the corner, though, for the top of next car. is going to go to work on Axum. Axum down low, rotating the bottom. 68 car is going to lead lap number one. Back behind three wide, down the front straightaway. Justin Granko's middle group runs fourth, right by Taylor Reimer, and here comes the battle for the top spot. It is indeed, it's out wide, goes the team as 7X car going to ramp off the wall, can't quite get there that time, he's so close by 12,000. Thomas Bezerol so close last year, what it would mean for San Jose, California driver. McIntosh back behind, got himself unsettled down, turn number one to two, the last time able to fight back down into the field, Bezerol goes to the point, 7X car out into the P1 spot, ripped his way around, Emerson Axum, Axum now running down that Ingler Ford. Ezreal hangs on. They take it across for lap number next. And right now it looks like that high side is going to work for Justin Gray. He gets around Taylor Reimer and he's now working on Emerson Axum. Got himself into the number three spot. Back behind Tanner Thorson tried it. Got a little tight on the cushion last time down. Turn number one and two. Now has got her pointed in the proper direction. As he works the high side. Looking for fifth on the field. Down into the corners. He goes wide out around McDermott. Meanwhile, up front, Grant has run down. The 68 acts of battle for second. And the hottest car on the racetrack right now very well may be Tanner Thorson. Tanner Thorson is up in the saddle. Elbows up. 7X car just rode a wheelie all the way down. Three down into turn number one and two. Slide jump from Grant. Besserall shuffle back into third. Back to the point goes Emerson Axum. Grant trying to deal with him down in turn number four. Can't get a run to the outside. He's got the 7X on his bumper. Oh, hold on. You know there's no team orders here. This is absolutely bare knuckle racing. They cannot keep the front end planted on the 7X. He'll throw a slide jump down in the corner. Three oh. lines for second. Come together. 25K car shrugged off. That'll shove more back into fourth on the field. I don't know how we survived that one, Chet, but we did. There goes the battle right there between the teammates. Another slider to the outside. Three wide coming out of the corner. Here comes Grant down the inside. Slams the door in his face. Does team as in the 7X. Now Robert battles off the bottom. Powers down the inside. The number two car. 88 to Tanner Thorson. Oh, not far back behind. Tanner Thorson right now is a driver very much in the mix here. Carter Sarf, Jerry Coots Jr. in the 19 M. Ethan Mitzorg on tooth and nail. And snow for the race oh lead. Oh, my. That was indeed a slider guy. Oh. A little bit of blue smoke coming out of the 7X car. Back to the point because Emerson Axel Grant takes it back away from him. Down into turn number three. They come out to the outside. Goes to 7X. Grant clears him on the outside. Oh, what? What is Big down on the inside from Ezreal, trying to get the number two spot. Oh, he'll throw a tire out across here. Catches Axel, bounces him out, shuffles him back into third. Taylor Robert, the number four spot, is out to be under attack. Slide jump, go down to Axel, can't get there. Now Robert goes to work on P3. Thomas Ezreal is not giving up. Justin Grant just stumbled, getting onto the cushion down in turn number three. He'll look to the inside of Andriotti. Strong side, side by side, wheel to wheel. Here's the opportunity for Mesereau into turn number three. Absolutely, but he's going to go down low. He'll slide in front of Justin, who's going to dive down underneath. There's a drag race in the one. Mesereau got him by a foul. Look out, almost caught that car just in front. Clipped the back bumper of the 97 car. Now mesereau has got breathing room. And here comes Justin. That cost time for the 7X car. Grant able to close. Pushes a little deeper into turn number three and four and onto the front straightaway. Axel still back beyond the 68 car. Closing on the top two. Mired in lap traffic. It's the 7X. Here comes Justin Grant. Justin Grant's going to try the bottom, but he's got one right in front of him. Now slides right there by T-Man. Almost makes contact with the 7X car. Mesereau got the memo. He's got to pick up the pace. He'll work out of the corner and down the back straightaway. Just 10 to go. That last time by. Yep, nine to go here at the line, Chet, and Benzerol is trying to fend off his teammate. Emerson Axum not out of the mix. He'll come down to the inside for the number 68 car. There's the move. Benzerol has got a cushion to cover between himself and Grant. Grant, deep down into turn number three, continues to work the number two spot. If you're Dave and you're Matt Eastman, what are your thoughts right now? Your two cars are up front, but my gosh, they're in danger of taking each other out. Tanner Force the 88 car back behind, still working P4 down in the corner. Mesrell's out over the cushion into the fence. Grant goes to the number one spot. Mesrell back to the whip, touches tires with the 88 car, and now Grant gets out of the way. Sometimes he was able to keep it going. Justin Grant now out front. Firing on through, now two laps to go that time by. And of course, Justin has no idea how close anyone is to him at this point. You'll see the white.
white flag this time by. No white flag coming out. A little bit of three wide traffic was just out ahead of him. He hustles down in the corner, right on the back bumper of the 71 car. Down the back straight away for the final time. Justin Grant's going to try to get it done, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes, and he'll take the checkered flag. At the BC 39, put that one into the books for JG, Justin Grant. And this guy came into this event, and he had not won a midget event this year, and that is a world-class set of donuts. Donuts right here for us, Justin Grant. Up and out of the car he comes. He's looking for you. Pay him off, race fans. Your winner of the fifth running of the Driven to Save Lives, BC39. He pockets another $20,039 to add to the thousands he's made already this year. But this one's so much sweeter. It comes at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It comes in the name of the late, great Brian Clausen, who was a fierce competitor of Justin's for so many years. They were friends. They did so much racing together over the years and so much respect and love shared between the two that to be able to win a race that honors somebody like Brian is such a special thing. It's, it's really hard to put into words, but I'm hoping that Justin's gonna be able to do that for us. There is about five million things that we can talk about from that race, but the first and the foremost is winning the Driven to Save Lives BC39. Not only that, it's inside the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but it honors Brian Clausen. Where does this fall in the list of incredible things you've done? Oh, it's, it's got to be it's got to be right there. And I mean, it's got to be nearly at the top. You know, uh, it's, it's either first or second on the list of things I've, I've been able, fortunate to do and accomplish. And uh, yeah, to come in here and, and, and to win at IMS, to win a race for Brian Clausen, um, everything that just in his honor and the, and, and the Clausen family and, uh, you know, Doug Bowles, everybody that puts puts so much so much heart and soul into this event. And, uh, you know, I have to say, like, you know, we're not racing at the Speedway. We're racing in the infield. But, but it uh, it's, it's really means a lot to me that the, the effort that Speedway puts into this, the, the effort that the community here in Indianapolis puts into this event. And uh, I just, just can't thank, uh, just can't thank NOS Energy Drink, RMS, and Virofab. Uh, Dave, Maddie, Step, uh, Lacey, Joe, everybody that works on this thing full time. Uh, had 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 Bob Brown here with me, Robert Brown Jr. helping me out this weekend and this week getting this car ready and going through things and and uh, J Dubs here, Nick Masker, uh, just just so many people. My wife Ashley out there slinging T-shirts and, and like I say, she always just keep my head up and keep me keep me pumped up. There's just I have so many people. I'm so so fortunate to be here. Um, just thank Lauren Albano with Nos Energy Drink, uh, Matt E. Step, Davey Step. Thanks all the fans for coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was uh, I was hustling as hard as I could there, and I know I know Timez was he was he was hustling hard too, and uh, it was really really tricky down there, and, and it felt like we got pushing each other harder and harder and harder, and and, and uh, it's how you kind of force force a force a mistake out of somebody, and we were it's unbelievable. I can't can't believe can't believe it. I'm, I'm, Usually I don't have, I said plenty, I think. <laughs> He's got so much to say that he doesn't even know where to start and where to stop. But Justin, you won that race and lost that race a couple times before it was all said and done, obviously, ending up in victory lane at the very end of it. Was it just the edge of disaster the entire time? Yeah, after about the first 10 laps there, it got to where you couldn't run under it anymore. And then you were, then you were up in that curb and, and pounding the wall coming off to get, like, you got you to gotta pound the wall one last time to finish it and get a good shot down the straightaway. And it was really hard when you get to lap traffic, you couldn't get in at the rate you needed to get in so your car was unloaded behind those guys it was almost it was almost hard to it was almost really hard to pass lap traffic so i kind of felt like we kept getting to back to each other in lap traffic and uh just a ton of fun i love this is i just i was kind of riding around early and we weren't we weren't the best car we weren't the fastest and, and i just knew as soon as it gets slick curbed up and technical i can i can go to work you know we got that yellow there and it's okay it's it's, it's time to regroup and go to work here you knew brian well if he could have seen that race if he could have competed in that race what would he have said uh, he'd have been he'd have been real excited. I think uh, he'd have been awfully tough. It'd have been it'd have been pretty pretty hard to beat him on a track like that. He was uh, he was an awfully good race car driver, great person, and uh, it's it's an honor to uh, to race here in, in his memory. His name goes on the list of winners of the Driven to Save Lives BC 39 at the dirt track at IMS. Taylor McLean going to come place the wreath on Justin Grant, your winner of the fifth running of this historic and exhilarating race at the dirt track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway.